Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It is almost 4th of July and we are getting ready to make some vegan jalapeno poppers. So to get started, we're gonna make a nut cheese out of cashews. So to get started, we've gotta soak the cashews overnight. So we're gonna take a cup of raw cashews. You can see they're raw. I'm just gonna put them in my measuring cup really quickly. It's Thursday, we are so excited for the weekend and for a long weekend. It's been a long week, it's been a long month. So here we are, we're gonna put this in here and we're gonna take the water, super simple. You just add a cup of water to the one cup of cashews. We're gonna let that soak overnight, then we'll be back with you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Living the Alleyway. We're so glad you're here with us today. It is almost the 4th of July and in here in Houston where we live, it is so hot. It's been in triple digits for a week, two weeks. I don't know, it's been crazy. Forever. Forever, it feels like, yes. So we've been running the air conditioner and our electric bill's been going up. We watch it go up week by week, but you know, that's just part of the hazards of living in Texas. So take the good with the bad. Um, but just wanna let you guys know that today we're gonna make some vegan cashew nut cheese. It's gonna be all plants and it's gonna be really tasty. And I think one of the things we're gonna do for the 4th of July is to make some jalapeno uh, poppers. Michael's been growing jalapenos in our garden. And, and poppers. He's been growing poppers in the garden. <laughs> Well, that'll make it convenient. Yes. <laughs> now he's been growing some jalapenos in the garden and we're gonna go out and pick those later and we'll probably do that in a separate video, but just wanted you guys to follow along with us today as we make this cashew vegan nut cheese and we'll uh, take it from here. Okay, so yesterday we showed you guys how we soaked some cashews, one cup of cashews in a cup of water for overnight. So I'm just gonna put, bring this around here and we're gonna drain these um, in my little strainer here just to get all the water out. They've soaked overnight, so they're really nice and soft. They will blend really well in the uh, mixer. So I'm just gonna give them a quick rinse just to make sure they're nice and clean. Any residue off of them. All right, so I'm just gonna let those sit here and drain for a few minutes, but I'm gonna walk back around here and show you guys what all we're gonna be using. And I'll have the recipe and the ingredients down in the description box below, but just kinda of wanted to show you guys what we're gonna be okay, using. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is chop some fresh parsley and some fresh chives. So again, I got both of these out of Michael's garden. His uh, chive uh, crop has just been going crazy this year. I don't, this year, I don't know why chives grow so well in this heat, but they really do. And they taste amazing. They do, they're so good. I really want to get a pretty uh, fine chop on these because you want it to be to be uh, distributed throughout the, the cheese that we're making. So that looks pretty good. Not use the blade to scrape this over. All right, and we're going to want about <clears throat> a tablespoon of chopped chives. So we're just going to go in here, not get my finger. I've already had one accident this week, as you guys can see. Just keep going a little bit more. Chop them really fine when you're chopping them so that they, again, will di distribute really evenly throughout the whole uh, cheese. All right, so we're gonna start putting stuff in the blender. Uh, let's see, is this plugged in, Mike? Yeah. It is ready to go. All right, let me move Mr. Parsley out of the way. I used to have a client named Mr. Parsley back when I worked at a bank here in Houston and he, I think he was retired, he had nothing to do. So he would call us every day about his ATM transactions. It was so much fun. Was his name Elvis Parsley? Close, I think that was his brother, yeah. Oh, it'll grow on you, don't worry. <laughs> I gotta come back over here and pick up these cashews. They've drained really well, no more water in there. So I'm just gonna take these and I'm gonna put them in the Vitamix. You guys have a Vitamix, you know how well they work. You could use any blender. Uh, we just use the Vitamix because it really chops things and processes things really well. So we've got the cashews in. I'm gonna go in with a tablespoon of, of extra virgin olive oil and a tablespoon, a little over a tablespoon of lemon juice. Lemon juice brightens this up really nice, so you'll like that. Nutritional yeast, if you guys haven't tried nutritional yeast, it gives uh, food a nutty flavor. It's got a lot of vitamin B12, I think, and a lot of other properties, but it's really good for you, and it makes things taste like cheese, which we're making cheese, so that's logical. So we're gonna put those in there. And you know what, I didn't tell you guys in the beginning, but I decided to go ahead and add some uh, onion powder and garlic powder, just because it's gonna give it more flavor. We're gonna amp up the flavor of this uh, cheese. We want it to, have, to be really tasty, especially when it's gonna go in our jalapeno poppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in a table, or a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of onion powder. 
All right, we're gonna pick up our chives that we chopped a minute ago. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of those in. And the parsley is gonna go in. And again, make sure you chop chopping these really finely so it'll go all throughout that cheese and make every part of it really tasty. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the top on the blender, make sure it's nice and secure. Turn it on low just to get it started. Okay, so if this is kind of tight, if yours is a little bit tight, not, not liquid enough, you can add just a little bit of water. I'm gonna add just a little bit to start because we can add more, but we can't take out. So let's try this one more time, see if we can get it to go. And here's the tamper. Okay, I think that's about done. I'm gonna take the lid off. Should've had you do this, Michael. You're stronger than I am. Oh, you're doing a wonderful job, Elizabeth. Okay, so we're just gonna take all of this beautiful, that's what the cheese looks like, and the mixer. I'm gonna take all of this out, put it into this bowl. And it's gonna be a little bit thick because we want it to be like the consistency of a, I guess a kind of a cream cheese or something like that. A soft spreadable cheese. A soft spreadable cheese, yeah. We're gonna get it in this bowl and then we're gonna taste it. Okay, okay guys, so the cheese is in the bowl. It looks really good. You can see all that green has gone all around. So it's all in there, all tasting really good, I'm sure. I'm gonna do a quick taste test here. It's really cheesy. Um, it's got seasoning in it. The, I think the garlic powder and the onion powder were a really good addition. And you guys can see that the green is all through this. So it was distributed really well. Michael, you wanna try it? Yes. This looks absolutely amazing. I love it when you cook. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you think. Smells cheesy. Mm, that is smooth. Mm -hmm. Cheesy flavor. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. You taste the chives. Yeah. Mm. And you know if you wanted to make this like Mexican flavor, you could put cilantro, sub the cilantro. You definitely could. Out yeah. for the parsley. Mm -hmm. So this is really, really good. It's gonna be great in those jalapeno poppers that we're gonna make. If you guys don't have a Vitamix uh, that you use in your home, you could also use like a Nutribullet, one of the, any kind of bullet blender, or you could use a food processor. Um, you know, whatever you guys have, just use what you have. So just make sure you try to get it as smooth as you can. You don't want a lot of lumps of those cashews in there, so just process it and process it. If you need to add a little more water, feel free to do that. It's not gonna change the flavor. Um, but you guys give this a try. Uh, drop us a comment down below and let us know what you think of it. Um, if you tried any similar ones, if you have different ideas, let us know um, for how we could improve this recipe. That'd be great. And we just want to thank you guys for hanging out with us today. It's so good to see everybody again. We love you guys. If you haven't joined our family yet, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you'll know every time we put a video out. And we wish everybody a really great, happy 4th of July. You guys be safe out there. We love you guys. Bye. Sadie, do you like cream cheese? Good girl. Uh-huh.